This video is brought to you by Drager's Classics. Dave and Jeannie Marin started Cruisin' Magazine many years ago, and they came to Drager's Clubhouse. In front of Drager's mural, and I have Dave from Cruisin' Magazine. Now, I don't know if, if you're on the East Coast, you may have never heard of Cruisin' Magazine, but Cruisin' Magazine is a Northwest publication, and you'll if you go to a car show locally, you can find a picture of your car in there many times over the years. He keeps uh, going to different events uh, and doing photos. Now, Dave, when did you start? Uh, well, we started the planning phase in 1987 and published our first issue in 1988. 1988. It's been that long. It's been, it seems longer. It seems longer. <laughs> but, yeah, since 1988 was our first issue. Now, have you always been on Woodby Island? You always lived up there? Uh, the magazine has always been on Woodby Island, and as have I. No, I know he was. He was grew up in Hawaii. Don't let him kid you. Don't believe that I grew up either. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Dave is here. And he he's working on this car now. Tell us what this car is. It's a 1968 Mercury Montego MX convertible. Now, how many did they build of these? Well, uh, they built like 3,000 of these, but this is one of 20 that was set aside for a Mercury uh, spectacular or some promotional thing they were doing. And this, the color scheme that this will finish with, and it, it was written about in, in the 1990 issue of Hemmings, was that uh, there were 20 of them set aside uh, for this promotional in this particular color scheme and with the white uh, uh, convertible top and interior and with uh, three of those 20 were fitted with the factory four speed which this one has the four speed. So this has got a four speed in it. Now how long have you owned this car? Since 1986-87. It, uh, it was in mothballs for 30, 25 years. 20, 25 years. So where did you find it? Uh, found it uh, in the little nickel, I think it was, for sale or trade in Puyallup. In Puyallup. For those of you who don't know, Puyallup's about 30 miles south of Seattle. So, now tell us what all you've been doing to it. Uh, we're just making it into a driver. That's, that's what it was when I started the magazine. The thing took us a lot of miles up and down I-5 getting the magazine started from uh, basically from the Canadian border to uh, Northern California. And then uh, I just wore it out, and the van made a lot more sense for the events we were going to and the stuff we were hauling around. So I put this in mothballs, and then we evolved into other cars. Last year, decided that it's time to resurrect the Mercury. So did you rebuild the engine? No, we put in a. Uh, we kept the old engine, but uh, we put in a brand new Ford Crate engine. A roller rocker engine with uh, a little, uh, just a little update, a little more horsepower. So it'll go a little faster. Uh, yeah, if you step on the gas. And so the four-speed, you, did you rebuild it or anything? It's or brand new engine, uh, brand new tranny. Brand new tranny. Yeah. And so I see the interior uh, in here is. Uh, it's in my warehouse. It's in your warehouse. <laughs> okay. And the top is new. Top is new, and it even works. And it even works. So your plan this year is you're gonna you're gonna you just he just had a trailer hitch put on the back so he can tow a teardrop trailer trailer we have. And you're you're gonna camp in this trailer? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll camp at the Holiday Inn. <laughs> <laughs> Holiday Inn. So this is mainly for hauling magazines this and is, stuff to yeah, the. Yeah, take our booth to the car shows. So you're taking your booth to the car shows. As always, the, as but always. but okay. now we'll be using this instead of the Ford Excursion or one of those vehicles. You gonna put the back seat back in it before you start using, it, or are you gonna leave it empty? Uh, to be determined. <laughs> to be determined. <laughs> so it, then, as I understand right, September, you plan to take this car and strip it and repaint it. And and yeah, this is this is just a colorized primer. This isn't a. Okay. This isn't paint. It's it's uh, what a clear coat mixed with primer. It's supposed to be the neat deal, and I liked, I liked having an approximation of the original color, but the, 
the actual original color you can see on the, uh, on the, okay, on on the, the door, door frame. And, uh, that's the color it will be ultimately. But for now, this at least looks, to me, looks different than doing just the, the black primer, satin primer, or, or red oxide or whatever. So when you get all finished with it, you're going to drive it a lot, or are you going to try and keep it really nice? I'm going to drive it a lot, as long as, it, as long as it's not too wet. <laughs> As long as it's not too wet. Anytime I can put the top down, I'd rather be in this than something else. So, Cruising Magazine has been around a lot of years. I, I mean, I, I don't even remember how long ago it was the first time I saw Cruising Magazine. It had to be way back in there, and I know, because I've been advertising with you for a lot of years. Decades. Decades. <laughs> yeah. Very so, valued advertiser. <laughs> so, anyway... Uh, you get it all finished up, you got to bring it back this fall and get it in front of the mural here so we can do this add-on to this video of, of your car and how it how it looks. Are you up to that? Uh, we're looking forward to it, Jerry. Okay. Well, we like to thank Dave for coming to the Dragers Clubhouse and uh, taking it in. And, and again, Cruising Magazine, you'll be able to take, if you want to order Cruising Magazine, we'll have that on this video so you'll know the information for doing that. And I'll have Dave's phone number on there. You can call him if you want. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you much, Dave. Thank you, Jerry. Well, Dave, that... Mercury sounds really healthy, I and I see you had new tires and wheels on it already, so I know you're having, going to have a good time driving it this summer. This is the cover of the first Cruisin' Magazine, September 1988. Dave does a great job producing a high-quality magazine for the Northwest. It covers a lot of events all over the Northwest. He takes photos of all the different vehicles there. There's my ad at Dragers. Anyway, uh, they went to the Hall of Fame, Washington State Hall of Fame, that is, that would just happen, and they took photos and interviewed people. And, of course, there's ads for the different events, like the Greenwood Knights Car Club that puts on the Greenwood Car Show. Great show. So stop the video and, and copy down the information here and order the Cruisin' Magazine. You'll enjoy it.